Hi, everybody. Hi, Facebook. Hi, YouTube. Hey, welcome. Okay, uh, this is going to be interesting. I learned this from Sandy Krakowski. First of all, thank you for joining me today. And this is our normal Wine Wednesday. And as you know, Facebook, let me catch up, that uh, the YouTubes is going through a growing phase. And I just, I'm, I'm not able to do the edited video for them right now. But I can do a live video, and I really like doing the live video. So what's going on is uh, Facebook. I am redoing the studio. I have family coming. They just need more room. So I'm not in the studio right now. I'm always in the office. And as you can see, this is my side of the office. All oh, that makeup. But over here with Vault Boy, oh, Jet, that's my son's side of the office. And somebody is at camp. So I would like to say to all the people who don't have children in the home, all y'all need to be solving world peace right now. Because since he's not home and there isn't that interruption, woo, I, I might as well have built a log cabin by hand because I've gotten so much done and it's so exciting. But nonetheless, <coughs> it must be time for some wine because it's wine Wednesday let me have a little sippy you know like Bunny says sippy sippy ah, so good so that's the water and what I want to share with you today do you want me to put a pin in that real quick Boop. why the two cameras because I am testing something thank you for being a part of my test and that is there has to be a way to do live to multiple platforms at one time. And Sandy Krakowski, have you read her book, The Anomaly Mindset? So good. She had a monopod that she clipped uh, on several different sides, like boom, 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 boom. Uh, each had a phone, and this phone right here clipped onto the monopod would have YouTube. And this phone clipped onto the monopod would have Facebook, and then Twitter, and then Snap, and then Instagram. So I'm testing this to see if it works, but let's get down to the meat of it. Today is Wine Wednesday. Now you may be thinking, oh, Charlotte, what? Yellowtail, Merlot, well, you've talked about that before. This is a great um, fresh fruity wine. And it's meant to be drank young, meaning two years or younger. And it is always in the $5 range, like $5.97 at the Walmart. So why are we talking about this today, you guys? Why? Can you I spy? Can you I spy why we're oops being why we're talking about this? Stat. Stat right there. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a she shed. Maybe it's an apocalypse shed. Maybe it just was purchased and forgotten. Can you see that number right there? I'm going to bring it up real close to each of the cameras. You're coming next, Facebook. It says 2006. 2006. What year are we in? 19. We are in 2019. Right here, I have a yellow tail Merlot from the year 2006. Your mind might be saying, oh, wait, doesn't wine get better as it ages? And actually, I need to open while I talk. And my pay just laid down right beneath my feet. Let me open this while I talk to you about it. Yes, some wines are meant to sit, to age, to just be in their bottle and bask until they're opened and they touch the air. Once it touches the air, the oxidation process begins. Okay, I have no idea what's going to happen. This is part Wine Wednesday, part first impressions, part might as well be one of those gag videos because we don't even know. But I'm going to open it. The thing about, and I got a message back from, and even, oh, I can't smell anything. There's what the cork, they don't use cork. They use a synthetic material. Why? Because these wines are meant to be enjoyed when they are young, two years and under. So if it's a 19 
an 18 or a 17 bottle, it's what it's supposed to be drunk, drank, consumed. I got a message back from Yellowtail and they said, uh, <laughs> open it and see. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Yellowtail. And then she told me that these are meant to be enjoyed young, meaning two years or younger. So I am opening the bottle. I am going to pour a glass out. How to know if a wine has spoiled or if it's bad is they will turn brown. Most wines, red wines, have a hint of purple, reddish. Oh, hold on. Oh. Oh, I'm kind of scared to smell it. Okay, so it's got a really deep tone. Oh, um, a bit acidic. Here we go. Ready? Ready? One, two, three. Kids. Kids, let me put my bottle down. Um, it looks like prune juice. Can you see that color? Let me show you Facebook. <laughs> it does, it has a scent. I wouldn't call this an aroma. Um, I don't know that I'm even get a sip of this, guys. Let's let it set a minute. <laughs> Holy smoke. <coughs> I need some water. All right, hold on. Ugh. Oh God, I don't know. I don't. I don't even have a straw right here, do I? Okay, I don't have a straw. Um, my dog got up. Whew. That was intense. Um, yeah. So Wine Wednesday, I found this bottle, and I, of course was like, oh, it is going to, I learned something and I just hope you can learn something too. I was thinking, oh, this is just going to be a really rich, has thickened, has uh, oxidized down on itself that it is just gonna be layer upon layer upon layer. No, not all wines are made the same and this is just meant to be drunk young i have encountered some other wine how you know wine is bad the color is different and the smell like there is nothing uh, oh nothing really um oh you guys all right let me try and get a oh no um yeah that's oh, 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 oh. let me show you what i have to cut the flavor Oh my God, no, that's bad, guys. That's bad. I don't think this is the kind of wine that you could even be like, oh, I'm going to make ice cubes out of it. I love that. I saw on a Martha Stewart video where she was teaching in her show about what to do with leftover wine. I'm like, girl, there is no leftover wine around here. And she was saying, put it into the old school ice cube tray with all the little slots to fill it up, and then when you needed to make pasta sauces, red tomato sauce, pasta sauce, that you would put two cubes in there, or that if you were making sangria, put two cubes. I'm like, girl, there is never leftover wine in my house, okay? So this is the other thing I had, and I just wanted to share this because I love pickles. I love dill, salty, hot, spicy pickles. Very crunchy very cold and I was just shopping for the cub to go to camp and I saw he wanted a can of Pringles to go to camp and I saw these dill pickles and I was like yes oh it's so good it's making my jaw water like right here it's like tingly salty sour oh as a kid like in general, I don't really like candy, but as a kid, I loved sour candy, sour patch kids, sour anything. I love dill pickle. I love dilly beans, dilly beans, like a pickled green bean with dill and garlic, salt, and a um, little pinch of hot pepper. Whew. So first impression, dill pickle Pringles worth every bite. That, I'm going to go dive into those. Uh, my yellowtail Merlot from 2006. 
The real miracle is I don't know how this bottle even lasted from 2006 till now, but uh, I just want to wrap up this video, keep them good and short, nice and live for you. Anything that happened in a live video. And that is that wine has spoiled. Is it, it is intended to be consumed young. So a 17, 18, 19, drink yourself some yellow tail. I do have that other bottle, that fun Spanish Italian, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> still pickle. I do have that other bottle I was going to talk to you about and review it for you. Let's just sum it up. It was good. And uh, this normally under any other circumstance, I totally enjoy yellowtail wines. Thank you. As long as it's not white. But this one, they are right. Their product is meant to be consumed young. And uh, that no, that didn't age well. It also was not stored. It was stored in heat. It was outside in a storage shed. So it went hot in the summer, which by the way, my area, summer's here, guys. I got the air conditioning on. Uh, so sad because the house is all closed up. I like it wide open. So the summer heat is here. That bottle has been through the freezing winter and the boiling summer. So that wine product, instead of being kept in a cool, dark place on its side and an even temperature of like 50 degrees, that didn't happen. That thing lived a rough life. And I'm so sorry. Sorry, wine. I have to pour that out. And I don't want to pour that out in the house in case it stinks. So I'm going to take it out. My dog wants to go out. She's up for a commercial. Okay, so uh, I had meant to also begin to talk to you about some fabulous wines that you can get for your Pentecost celebrations. It's coming up this weekend. It's going to be such a time of breakthrough, of revelation, of wisdom, and visitation. So when it comes to Pentecost this year, you know, I've been counting the Omer since Passover. I think my encouragement to you is that this year, be expecting a personal Pentecost visitation. Isn't that exciting? And then have some wine to sit and enjoy with the Lord and Holy Spirit. Ah, it's going to be so good. I'm really looking forward to it. Final thought. Uh, and this is on my Twitter, not Twitter's at Cheryl Lynn. It's not on my Facebooks, but I will post it later. And that is at the end of the month. I'm going to be out at Warner Brothers and I'm hosting a meetup with Stage 32 and um, just looking to get you creatives together and to collab and to create and to just get moving forward, which ties us all the way back into the Makeup University Resolve Tuesdays that we've been doing since the beginning of the year. I really feel passionate about June. You're halfway through the year. You need to take stock of where you're at, what you're doing. Revisit those goals you set back in January. And it's a good time to deep dive on them again. Hammer back down the reason why you set those goals. And I was really pushing for, you know, creative revolution, creative stretching, creative boundary pushing, just quantum leaps in creativity is what I was pushing for part of my New Year's resolution. And when I saw that there wasn't a meetup, I was like, well, um, there's a saying, I think it's like an FDR saying, uh, if you see a need, fill it, something like that. If you know the quote I'm talking about, post it, please. So I know because <laughs> my long story is that, um, I'm looking forward to gathering people together because good things happen. So that's this Wine Wednesday. And um, Yellowtail, you were right. That did not age well. I'll look forward to enjoying some Yellowtail the next time around I make it to the store. Hey, you guys, Wine Wednesday. If you have a great $10 wine, $10 and under, I would love to know about it. I'm always looking for a fresh varietal, something to try. Uh, my preference is reds, the Cab Savs, the Malbecs, the Merlots. I'll have some Pinot Noirs. You guys, it's going to have to be mm, heaven in a bottle for it to be a white or rosé for me to drink it and be like, yeah, that was good. So, anywho, thank you so much. Oh, final thought, final, final thought. One last thing, like Tony Robbins. One more thing, and then you sit there another hour. I am looking for Bud Rita, I do the quotes because it's a brand, Bud Rita Cherry Limeade Flavor. Let me know where you see it. I need to try it. Normally, I do kind of like the Bud Ritas, but I think they are 
very sweet. Like even I get the lime flavor, it's still very sweet to me. I like kind of a tart, sour flavor. I want to try this cherry limeade. And the funny thing is, speaking of our wine Wednesdays and trying things, I tried those dill pickle Pringles. I've got to get back into that bottle. I tried the dill pickle slush from Sonics. Do you guys have a Sonics near you? They're kind of like the old school drive in and you pull up and they do have in my town, the kids on the roller skates, bring the food out. They had a dill pickle slush loved it and then it was really even better when you put like a little splash of bud rita lime flavor in it so it was like a dill pickle margarita and it was absolutely delicious i liked it i wish i had more than one anywho wine wednesday we're all done here i'm gonna boop you youtube and then i'm gonna boop you facebook so youtubers thank you so much for watching i'm Sherilyn. this is makeup university and remember you look really gorgeous today. Okay, Facebook.